Ella's been a little clingy today. She wants me to love on her, like nonstop, which, you know, probably doesn't really matter. <laughs> I mean, I probably don't mind. Here comes three month along Bree, sitting here next to my heavily pregnant Bliss, Bristol. She's wanting to lay around more. She's needy. She wants me by her. She wants me to pet her. Not No labor or nothing like that. I, I don't think she's going to kid before the latter part of January, like after halfway of January. But honestly, by the time I realized that she was further along, I could feel kids moving. So she could be closer. She could be within a couple of weeks and I just, I just have to watch her. But she definitely is wanting me near her and she's definitely doing a lot more laying around. She's ravenous, which most people think goats always are, but when they're heavily pregnant, they're always starving. Yes, baby. Her it's just, she can hardly get comfortable. She's pretty big. I, I don't know what to expect here. I'm, I'm hoping she doesn't have two big bucks, but she sure hasn't gotten that big of an udder yet. So I know that I, I mean, I'm familiar with the development of Utter, and hers just isn't leading me to believe that these are all boys. <laughs> we shall see. We shall see. She had my beautiful Bliss, her first freshen, and this is her second freshen, and She's got either two pretty good sized ones or three in there. She could have more, but that's not not something I would be counting on, so. She's big. There's babies all the way up here under her front legs. And she's still got, as far as I know, two or three weeks left, so. She's just resting now. She's pretty big. She's a bigger, big girl. And she's a tiny, tiny little goat. Like, she doesn't even come up to my knees. She wanted to sit by me. She wanted me just to lay down and sit by me, but, you know, Burley came over, which is fine. He doesn't bother anybody. But then Briar came over and he's a pest. So she had to get uh, this one right here, this Bliss, and I believe she has five weeks left for her first freshen. Bree, the little buckskin, walked by me and I felt her baby bump and it was kicking. <laughs> That's so sweet. And then, like I said, Bristol, she's needy today. She wants to sit by me. She wants to lay down. She, she cries if I'm not around. Now, she's not in labor. Like, she has full, I mean, ligaments are he are slung down because those babies in there are super heavy but she's not anywhere near like even early labor she's just getting close and she she's a mama's girl and here's Burley he's a mama's boy he wants my full undivided attention and he's old so I don't care I have a chair out here just so I can sit here and pet these guys Bristol. She's quite large. I I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if she had three and I'm 
I'm certain when you're Brie has got more than three. She typically has three, but she's she's maybe like um, three months in a week, and she already um, she's already huge. So I'm concerned she might have more than three this time. Mm -hmm. Betty's acting Bucky. See. She's treating me like I'm her. I took the boys away. I put them, pinned them up. And she's taking over the, the book <laughs> Oh, my poor, poor mixed up girl. She's old. We're going to just pass on <laughs> judgment. <laughs> poor little cystic Betty. You just resting around a lot, huh, Mama? You just resting around a lot. How many do we think that Miss Bristol's gonna have? I'm kind of thinking three. But, you know, at least two.